Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me and Chalk Couture, and today I'm going to do one of these little um, stands. I think these are so cute. Look at that. So I'm going to put, I'm going to do it kind of in spring colors. I'm going to put my last name initial on there. So we're just going to peel this off. You can buy these individually. I think I got one for myself and all my kids. Here we go. So pull that up. And then all you're going to do is, I'm going to put my W over here kind of on the edge. Because, well, first off you want to fuzz it. And all I'm doing is putting this on my shirt a little bit. You can have one of those fuzzing towels if you want. Uh, I have a towel beside you. I just put it on my shirt. I have little work shirts that I wear out here in the shop and I just stick it on my shirt a couple of times and it's fine. So I'm going to put this kind of over to the side over here and then just try to get it even from top to bottom. Somewhat even. There we go. And I'm just I'm pressing that down around that so that I can get all the bubbles out of it. You don't want any bubbles in there. That's what makes it um, mess up a little bit if you have bubbles in there. So just press that down. And I'm going to do the W in purple. No, purple is not one of my favorite colors. But like I said, I'm trying to do Easter colors. So we're going to do the, pur the purple on the W. And I do teal every time I do a video. So I know you guys get tired of seeing teal. And I can always change this because this is one of those chalkboards. So I can pull this up, wash it off, and change it if I want to to something else later on. That's the good thing about this. And you can use these stencils. I call them stencils. They're not stencils. They're transfers. You can use these transfers over and over again. You do not have to throw them away. They are reusable. All right, now just make sure that you get a good coverage. When you get a good coverage, you can take all of that excess off, put it right back in your jar, and reuse it. No waste. Okay. All I'm doing now is just kind of smoothing it out, so maybe I won't have any little bumps and clumps at the bottom. Alright, I'm going to lay that over here and then I'm just going to pull this up. I'm going to grab both corners and just pull. Ooh, cute! There's our W. Now I have a little mat over here that I just lay mine down on until I get to where I can wash it in just a few seconds. Looks like I got just a little bit. I didn't get a little bit of chalk right there. So all I'm doing is taking that tool and I'm going down over that and filling that in. And it's it's finished. Okay, we're going to lay that aside. And then on our yellow, of course, you know I love butterflies. We've got this uh, transfer that has all different sizes of butterflies on it. There's the larger one there. It's layered. This is just a small one and I thought it would be cute over here. Now if you want to do anything on top of this you need to wait till that W dries. But I'm going to do this right over here. So I'm just going to stick this butterfly down right there. Make sure that he's pressed down nicely. And get another one. And I'm going to use yellow on this one. And you can see it takes very, very little. This stuff lasts forever. Just press it down through the transfer and then take the excess back to your jar. Now 
Now we're going to pull that up and then immediately I'm going to go up here to the top and I'm going to put another one on there. Now I don't want this to stick down right there so what I'm going to do is take one of these little spoons. We've got these little spoons too. I'm going to take that little spoon and I'm going to put that under there so that that won't stick there. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go over that one again. Don't wait too long in between though because it will, if you do your transfer will dry and then it won't have a good image. So put it down immediately. Don't move it once you put it down and then go again. There we go. So there is my finished piece and I'm going to put this on my bar and I'll show you how this goes together. This has a little peg in the back and you can put it either this way which is up and down like this or this way of course is the way that I want mine. Just sit it down in there, line up those holes. So I'm going to line that hole up. And then just put your peg in and it's finished it's ready to go up I'm going to let this sit out here and dry just a little bit before I put it on my in my dining room but I think that's super cute I love the little butterflies love 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 them and I may come back when they dry you know how I like bling I may come back when they dry and put some bling in there you can always add extra to you can add ribbon to bling whatever but isn't that easy and cute? That took me the whole amount of, what, five minutes to make a project like that? I love it. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave all my links below. If you would like to try Chalk Couture, there's a link down there that you can just make a purchase. Or we do have a Couture Club Kit that you can get in on. Or if you'd like to join my team and do projects like this, sell them, make money at this working from home, then that link will be down there as well. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.